Sunni Islamic cleric Tahirul Qadri addressed tens of thousands of protesters in Islamabad in the wee hours today and warned the government to dissolve the parliament and provisional assemblies by 11 o'clock. The little-known Pakistani Canadian cleric arrived in Islamabad late on Monday with a vow to push for change in Pakistani politics after starting his march from Lahore. Addressing a rally of his supporters in Islamabad, Qadri warned the government to dissolve elected bodies voluntarily. Otherwise, people would start making decisions on their own. Qadri said the mandate, which the so-called erstwhile public representative seized unlawfully, had expired and it was time for a change. A large number of people gathered at the Jinnah Avenue to welcome the Tahirul Qadri-led march late on Monday. A large number of youth were present in the participating crowd, while many women also turned up at the sit-in. Tahirul Qadri, who returned to Pakistan last month after years in Toronto, accuses the government of being corrupt and incompetent and says polls cannot be held until reforms are enacted. In Pakistan, conspiracy theorists have conjectured he may be funded by the country's powerful military or even by the U.S. The U.S. government and Pakistani military have denied any links to him. Tahirul Qadri has made three main demands to the government on your television screens. What are these demands? Reconstitute the election commission of Pakistan. That's just one of those demands. The second demand is install impartial and honest caretaker government. And the third demand is the implementation of Article 62 and 63 of the Constitution that deals with the determination of eligibility of an electoral candidate. This is our demand. Seven months have passed and government has never allowed an empowered election commission to enforce. So they want to go to the election electoral process again in the same way as it is coming for the last 60 years so that the fake degree holders and tax evaders and the corrupt people and the criminal people of criminal record, they, because of their special skills of maneuvering the elections, may come back in the parliament. So we don't want the law breakers to become our law makers. Well, let's get in more from our correspondent Hamza Amir, who's joining us with details on what things are looking like this morning in Islamabad. Hamza, just take us through who this man really is. What do we know about Tahirul Qadri? Also, how jittery is Islamabad today, given the sort of deadline of 11 o'clock this morning that we're talking about? Well, Tahirul Qadri is basically a religious cleric and he's a very well-known cleric because people listen to his lectures a lot. He has a following of at least 2 lakh students uh, at least. And that is why we see that the people when he started gathering them up, other than the political party, party leaders or any other uh, civil society that joined in, majority of the chunk of the people who are in Islamabad today are students who are very young and mm -hmm. also like, you know, we're talking about two lakh students and then their family members coming in. So it's more than three lakh people sitting in Islamabad right now. And they're not sitting at the Jinnah Avenue. They were at Jinnah Avenue before. Now they're right in front of the parliament at B Square. And they have, they have announced that they will put their sit in, in front of the parliament. So that is about five minutes away from the parliament. Right now, Islamabad is, is looking just like an army's bunker. And, and in, a, in a broad daylight, you know, the ruling government is having nightmares of what is going to come next. Because when they allowed Qadri to enter into Islamabad, he actually managed to uh, come into Islamabad. And as soon as he reached it, uh, he announced two different pointers. One a reservation from the ruling government by 11 o'clock. Secondly, a certain to stay in, till Isla in Islamabad till the time their demands are not met, hmm. which is a very, very, very new thing in the history of Pakistan, especially for the capital Islamabad. We people over here are not actually used to these things. And a, people, a person like him who has actually got a following of a lot of people hmm. who are actually right now, it's, it's you know, in, in Islamabad, it's about two degrees right now, two or three degrees. Hmm. And people are out on the streets and sleeping. And they are ready to sleep for there for days and if their demands are not met. So there is a very strong falling of Qadri. Mm. And there are talks going on in, within Pakistani uh, mm. ruling government that you know now the talks should start. Now mm. they should try to get in and uh, to close door uh, channels with uh, uh, Dr. Qadri to mm. tell him to stop what he's trying to do. Because right now what right. he plans to do is just to topple the government today and get rid of the government and let the people decide mm. what they want the Pakistan future to be. All right, Hamza, we'll keep coming back to you for more developments coming forward on this story. Right now, many thanks for having joined us with those details.